<sighs> Hello YouTube, how do you do? My name is Monkai and this is my vlog A. Right, so I'm quite tired, but that's because I didn't get a lot of sleep. Well, I did get a lot of sleep, but I didn't feel like I got a lot of sleep. I had a goddamn dream that freaked me out. So much so I woke up twice from it and still went back to sleep and had the same freaking dream. Do you wanna know what happened in the dream? You do? I can't hear you. Oh, you do? Okay, cool. I moved out of this place. I moved into a new place. This new place had people living below me. These people were very nice people. They were into video editing and making videos and were getting along really well. They introduced me to this new guy named Chris. Chris seemed like a nice person and he was very generous. And the friends that lived below me, they warned me about Chris and they said that he is very attention seeking and obsessive. I was like, okay, cool, I'll keep my distance, that's fine. And I did. A few days later, I woke up. Nell came running into my room and she was like, Mikey, help me. I was like, wow, what's going on? Chris is very obsessive. He's taking control of my life and I don't like it and I can't get away from him. And he just, he's there all the time and I don't like it. And she was like, I was blinded. I didn't really notice this until like, just lately, I mean, he was so nice and generous. I, I was just thought he was a nice person. And then she explained to me that she didn't really know about the, you know, the obsessive and the drama seeking, attention seeking person that he is. She didn't know about that. So I was like, right, well, it's okay. I'll go talk to him. I'll go talk to him. It's fine. I went to talk to him and uh, <laughs> I can't believe this happened. But yeah, I went to talk to Chris and he got really uh, like protective and was like, why, why? Why I'm, I'm like, you know, he was saying that I call him a liar and I was being horrible to him and all this and all he wanted was to be with Nell and I was like, can't be with Nell, she's my girlfriend and she's with me. And then he was like, well, if I can't be with her, then I'm gonna kill myself. So he was asking me to kill him and I was like, I'm not gonna kill you, that's weird. No, I wouldn't do that, that's no. And then he was like threatening to kill himself and then I was like, what are you doing, you crazy fool? Like, don't be so like that, you can't be with Nell. And then he got really angry and started running towards me and then he ran towards me with a knife to stab me and I was like, whoa, back off grabbed the knife, turned the knife around by accident and stabbed him and he fell on top of me and blood coming everywhere, all over the place. And I was like, shit, I just killed him. So I killed somebody in my dream. But then, that wasn't even the worst thing, is I pushed Chris off and went and told Nell. And then Nell was like, well, you're gonna have to go tell his friends because they're the first people that need to know. So I was like, okay, that seems right. And I went and told his friends and they were like, ah, it'd be better, right? We're better off without him because he was very obsessive and, and very, like, drama. And seeking. So he probably died in the best way possible. And then I woke up for like the first time and then I did not go back to sleep. So I don't know what that means. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Uh been a monkey, this has been my vlog. You know I'm gonna close this vlog on my nose because that's the way a monkey rolls. I'll see you later. Bye bye. And come with me because I want to show you something. I'm very happy about this. Hello. He's back! At last. Yeah, for like a fucking day. And then he goes away, and then he comes back again. Five hour trips there and back from Sheffield three times in a week. Oh yeah, he's gotta go there and back. Yeah.